Hello everyone, it's Robin Dudley Howes, the Artsy Bohemian, coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. I wanted to show you a humongous journal that I just got through making with my Secret Spooky Society members and wanted to say that if you want to make this journal, you can also join our Secret Spooky Society. It's Even though it says spooky, not everything is spooky harsh it's more spooky light <laughs> so this is um, I'm calling this it's a dark academia junk journal and we uh, took about probably several maybe four or five months to make it but all of the lessons are up right now so if you want to join the link is down below you don't have to love spooky Halloween things uh, necessarily and you can uh, join for $22 a month and if you want to stop your subscription then you can also do that as well so let's go ahead and start I love the way this came out I want to know also if you why you think you love making junk journals because before I made this uh, video today I was just thinking how much I really don't like selling my journals I love the way they feel I love the process of making them and I was wondering what is it that makes you love uh, junk journals in general this one is made with a fabric covering and a really interesting binding technique the cover is made with a really hard almost masonite cover and we did a paint over type of technique where we took an actual painting and then we painted over it so it looks very painterly and there are copper tacks that we hammered into the front so it has this wonderful tactile no pun intended feeling and then after everything had dried and we did a little bit of mixed media on there we added a coat or two of wax so as with most junk journals there's it's kind of interactive there's lots of pockets we did some all kinds of mixed media techniques This is a technique um, called reductive painting, I believe, where you do a mixed media palette on a substrate. Um, in this case, we just used mixed media paper. And then you line, take line drawings and then paint in the negative space. So you get this really wonderful technique. This is a piece of paper that um, whenever I do gel prints I have paper on the side where I that I use to clean my brushes and my brayer and I save all of them and they are great papers to use for junk journals. A lot of times in the classes that I teach in the Secret Spooky Society, you get um, exclusive digitals. This is a technique with embossing and gold paint. Sewn papers. So 
Some really pretty digitals from Etsy. open this for a while. <laughs> I love using the Dina Wakely or Dina Wakely sprays. This looks like some of these are a little stuck together, but not too bad. Peekaboo page. More grungy pages. Here's a collage that we did that's pretty intense with lots of 3D elements and mixed media. Gel plate, papers, fibers. Each has some texture on it as well. All of them are just so much fun to make all these different pages and then putting it together with a fairly cohesive color theme. Teals, blacks, grays, creams, and some dark browns. It has some texture paste on there. And a little cute little interactive book. Using some of my favorite stamps and stencils from Red Lead Paperworks. This is a bag. A lot of recycled things we used in the book itself. at a flea market. It's a wooden bead with the coolest bail on it. It was probably, maybe it was painted at some point. Here's a pocket. An origami heart. More gel plate, plate prints. We made some fun tags with these ladies here. And I did some drawings in here because wanted it that I wanted this journal to be useful this is fun if you save the spine fabric you can use it in for tags and then this is this amazing woman who sells on Etsy um, I'll try to remember her name and put the link down below I love her I love her digitals they're a little bit primitive and kind of washed out and worn looking. Really fun collage watch with lots of sewing on it. Really old, old postcard from the turn of the century.
this is just one of over I would say 70 tutorials now that are in the secret spooky society and you can pick and choose the ones that you like but if you go to the link you'll kind of get an idea of some of the other tutorials that I've taught there even though I haven't updated it probably for a few months there's quite a bit more a little spooky picture of him in there this a friend of mine gave this to me that's from the Czech Republic and I thought she looked like a little witch More upcycled paper bags, junk, junk mail, in a cute little pocket out of a light bulb fodder piece, just a piece that was in a light bulb, and I thought I made a cute little pocket. That's where the light bulb went, where the hole is. These were a gift me, I believe they're from Mary. Thank you, Mary. Another bag with a pocket on it. This was from one of my Secret Spooky Society members, Fran. She sent me this beautiful uh, happy mail with lots of Halloween stuff in it last year. What did I do on there? I wrote something. sprays as well on here. some old postage stamps in there. This is my favorite page. This is a stencil and I believe it was from Pam Carricker. I got it on Stencil Girls, I think. I'm not sure, but I love it. I first saw it on Megan Quinlan's YouTube channel. She had done a page with this stencil and I just had to get it. And then I added a little this is one of my little collages from a while ago that I added to the top with an old button and a bulb pin. More pages for writing and drawing. This is that lady that I was telling you about that I love her um, digitals. Lots of eyelets in lots of the pages with places to hang dangles. This is more of the gel plate, botanical gel plate paper. And then I used you guys save stuff and you go to flea markets, you'll see these old pins that people would wear. This one's from the Bobcat Cub Society. And they make little nice little closures to close up your envelopes so you can use them for something. Yeah. 
And this was a bunch of torn papers that I did sewing and collage on, little tidbits of snippets. Lots and lots of recycled papers and from scraps that we all have. One of my collages. This is a great way to use your old um, slides. More gel plate papers. Another cute little pocket. It's a little vinyl pocket. That I had. I bought these years and years ago. I put a very old patina penny in there. More sewing on here. Old papers, collaged. This is some interesting paper from that you can get from Hobby Lobby. You don't get a lot of papers, but I love it. It's It looks like really old parchment paper. And if you've gone to Hobby Lobby and you look in the art section where they sell the paintbrushes and stuff, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's a bit big, so I folded it in half, or not in half, I folded it so I could have pockets here. And then I sprayed it with a ton of different Dina Wakely paints, uh, spray paints. Just did some collage on old envelopes, and then this made this cute little pocket thing. has lots of pockets. It's one of those one page folios that you can make. I have a video on it and lots of people do. Uh, a lot of YouTubers do. It's like I think it's with the 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Here's another folio I made that I love. Lots of stuff going on. This is a a shrinky dink that I colored and an old wooden game maybe for bingo little disc this made some interesting little pieces Go in there. This is one of those things I made, and I thought it was going to go in a journal that I had made, but it didn't really work with it. So it worked with this one, so it worked out perfect. This is from Trader Joe's. They have cold brew packs that you can, and they're this big, so you can make cold brew and put it in your fridge. And so I after they're done, I dye my papers with them and then save the the bag. It's like a big tea bag. If there's anything that you see in here, just let me know that you want me to show you how to make. Of course, I can't make the whole <laughs> journal, but isn't that cute? That's a die cut. The Hocus Pocus ladies, which, by the way, I'm going to Salem. I'm so excited for my birthday in about a month. Staying at a, a Airbnb that's completely decorated like Harry Potter. I can't wait. Here is another super, super cute shrinky dink with rubber stamp here. And then this is decoupaged napkin on a blank shrinky dink. Here's a hidden paper clip. I love 
making these little collages with fabrics and stuff. Buttons, lace, This is a, a card that my daughter had given to me for my birthday last year and I love it so much. It's from this amazing artist. In fact, I have the card right here. She looks like a ghost floating above the floor. The Haunting of Harlow Hall by JanetHillStudio.com And I did a little paint swatch right there. enjoyed that I just felt like showing this to you it's been a while since I've been on here I've been extremely busy with new in-person classes and um, I love this here how I used a grommet an eyelet to attack to hold the lace down and then also you can add some cool little trinkets this is these are from and they're metal they were used to tag cows. That's what I was told when I bought them a long time ago. Yeah, so I have a class I'm teaching at Frank Garcia Studio. I have a video on it. It's um, the one before this video on how to make a really, really cool, chunky, witchy fodder file mini book. And we're almost full. I would love to see you in class. It's not until September 28th, so sign up now because there's not very many spaces left last, last time I checked. And again, sign up for my Secret Spooky Society. You'll love some of the, uh, maybe all of the, the tutorials that are in there. I certainly love it, and we have a very sweet, wonderful community. We do tutor tutorials at least a month. That's two. And we also have a live meeting every month, so you can we can just chat and talk about what's going on in our lives or any projects that we're working on. And then uh, the last Thursday of every month, I have a little tutorial or some kind of video, maybe of a something that I think would be interesting, um, or little tiny things that you can make within 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. So I hope to see you there. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.